Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and it is nearing the end of the year, so I thought I'd do a little mini year in review, a la Magic the Gathering. I'm going to open up some set booster boxes over the course of the next week or so, and uh, kind of show off some of my favorite stuff from uh, the last year, starting with Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Now, I know that this one was open to mixed reviews. I happen to actually love this set. And I feel like it's actually one that you should not be sleeping on. Um, I think there's actually um, a lot more value in these little beholders um, than people give it credit for. Um, there are actually a lot of um, kind of staple common and uncommons that I think you're going to see play for a long time. Some very powerful mythics that um, probably flying on the radar. radar. And... Um, the things like Ranger's class and uh, Cleric class are actually, uh, I think, uh, quite powerful. So uh, let's get into these set boosters and see if we can pull out some interesting stuff. I'm going to go kind of relatively quick. We'll look at the art card. We'll look at the swamp. We'll look at the purple worm. We'll pull stuff like, is this one I'm talking about right here. Right here. This combo right here, Deadly Dispute with Shambling Ghast, is almost going to be ubiquitous over the course of the next few years I think in several formats um, we've got a goblin pack here so I'm actually gonna pull this stuff um, at the end I think we will scan up um, kind of the better stuff here we've got a couple of rares we've got the black stuff of water deep true polymorph not really big ones well that's pretty decent I've actually been looking for one of these from the list a morph on the bound list I need this for my slivers deck Boom, that's a hit right there. We'll go ahead and scan that up. The Modern Horizons version, 23 bucks. The List version is $22.99. So right off the bat, I guess I'm doing pretty good. Let me grab some sleeves here for some big hits like this. How's everyone doing today? Make sure to comment down below everything you feel and think right now. And also subscribe and comment and like. Um, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. It's uh, been a long time coming. And uh, would like to hit it so I can just kind of move on from there. Let's let's check these goblin cards. They're nothing big. The Battle Cry Goblin is a little bit less than I thought it would be. That's okay. All right. Getting organized again. Put my rares with my decent. Did I scan these? No. Shambling Ghast for an uncom or for a common is pretty good, and then Deadly Dispute. It's actually like three bucks, so that's a decent card right there. I swear I'll be more organized with the next pack. I promise. Bear with me, and we'll see if that's true. Got some art there. We got a forest pixie guide. Got some. Uh, Elves doing their stuff. That doesn't seem to go with the elves. So I was just checking the prices. Igne Ingenious Smith is actually uh, worth a little bit there. There's another Deadly Dispute. I'll take that as well. You find a Villain's Lair. So the 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 uh, dungeon mechanic in this set, I, I do agree, is kind of underwhelming. But um, I think there's a lot of other stuff to like in this set. We've got a Frog Hemoth. It's only 78 cents. Ferida, Devil's Chosen, in Foil, Tiefling, Warlock. It's just an uncommon. I don't think so. So yeah, there's the Dungeon Crawler there. It's, it was fun. I liked playing it when it first came out. But I don't think it's going to be one that holds a lot of interest. Here we got a, a gold stamped, not a real autograph, just saying. And I didn't see it as the... Signed version, the signed version is a dollar, it says. We've got a force, and we've got a full art white dragon. Cool. Um, sorry, borderless, whatever you want to call it, alternate art. I can't even keep up with all the different styles and stuff. And the scanner doesn't seem to see it either. That's okay. It's probably not a big one. <clears throat> I'm not going to try to guess what the theme is on these. <laughs> That's fine, right? Oh, they're playing Minion of the Mighty, the biggest meme of 2021. I actually was able to pull this off on Arena on turn two um, with uh, 
there's the hasty dragon that doubles him up it was it was some pretty fun stuff so uh, I don't think that it's gonna see a whole lot of play it's 99 cents for the lulls right and then we got an invisibility so my first list poll was amazing my second one not so much that's okay I'm really happy with that moral font. I actually really, really need one of those. Uh, let's see here. Veteran Dungeoneer. A swamp. We've got a unicorn. Pegasus. I love the art. Um, big D&D guy. You guys may or may not know that. I actually am a dungeon master myself. Portable Hole is one that, if it could scan, would be actually pretty decent. $1.99. We've got Cridal. Of Baldur's Gate, um, he's just an uncommon. I don't think he's not much. Drist de Erden is actually five bucks. Hold on, it's a promo version. It's just a regular. He's only a buck. Poor Drist. And ooh, there we go. Another uh, mythic from the list. Maelstrom Nexus. First spell you play each turn has Cascade. Well, that's got some serious possibilities. Um, list version is only a buck or so. But that's okay. I guess I can put it in the mythic pile. Longtime viewers of this channel will know that my piles are not going to make any sense at the end. Here we got a Zorn. Swamp. Giant. Let's get you up here. Yong T. Green Dragon Temple. Some dra this is a dragon pack. Nadar. Selfless Paladin. Ooh, and the Tarask. 89 cents. The Tarasque as a mythic. Uh, people said this was a little underwhelming. I mean, the Tarasque in D&D should be like equal to like Merit Lay. It should be like a 2020 creature. But, uh, oops, that's not the showcase. Almost three bucks. It's a mythic though. Check for traps. This is one that um, I thought would have been a little better, but... It's nothing super big. Let me see if the foil version was worth anything more. Not really. 30 cents. And roll it up. Uh, I'd like to pull uh, at least one Rangers class here. We got a, a Mimic. Gelatinous Cube. That's great, actually. I'm going to check that one. 29 cents. Green Dragon. So I can get the whole set of, of uh, alternate art dragons, maybe. That's fun. Well, the walls definitely needed tons of those. Cridal again, split the party. Magic Missile, Cave of the Frost Dragon. So I think that the uh, the man lands, um, the, the lair lands from this set are going to actually um, see plenty of play over the next several years. Painful lesson from Battle Bond. All right. Especially um, <clears throat> like... The Frost Dragon, probably, and the, the Bugbear one. Flame Skull. Dragon, Dragon. Wizard Spellbook. Ooh, there's Lolth. I definitely want that, too. Um, not going to change that. Lolth Spider Queen. So, I think probably the best Planeswalker um, out of this set. Um, and uh, as a replace, I, I really like this as a replacement for a core set. To me, core sets are kind of boring. Um, it's definitely a great place for uh, for new players to get started, um, but they always end up being kind of like the vanilla stuff you always see, like Mind Rot and Unsummon, and uh, you know what I mean, Giant Strength. So, or uh, yeah, Wilds. You know what I'm talking about, right? So this. As a replacement for a core set, I think it was a good jumping in point for a lot of new players, although maybe it didn't take off as, as, as much as they wanted it to. Um, but I prefer it since it's a little bit uh, more flavorful than just a base, like a core set that's not very cohesive. So Oswald Fiddlebender is almost three bucks. A Bilette and a Dragon. Pick up the pace here. Nadar. Do the Smith here. Divine Smite. We got Targnar. Uh, and the Book of Exalted Deeds. Wow, I'm doing pretty good on the mythics here. Book of Exalted Deeds. 
combos to a auto win with Faceless Haven. 551, got a Dungeon Descent in foil. And I don't know if it's going to see it. There we go. Foil rare. A whopping 10 cents more than the regular. It is what it is. Am I right? Uh, the Grandmaster Flowers. He's pretty decent. We got Full Swamp. Roper. Barbarian class, even though it's an uncommon. Um, probably not worth a whole lot. It's one that I'll probably pull later. Werewolf Pack Leader. There we go. So this one, I don't know if it's worth a lot, but I mean, current standard, you got to have it in your Werewolf deck. There you go. Five bucks. It's solid. Uh, I'm going to pull this Barbarian class for myself. Put it in there. Basically, level up enchantment global effects. It's pretty useful stuff, in my opinion. Beholder. I love the old school D and D manual art. I actually predicted this like over a year ago that they would do this eventually. I'm sure, it wasn't the only one. Horrible hole. See it. Ochre jelly and a Westgate Regent. Another card that I actually like. Uh, quite a bit and it's only a under a buck we got a foil alternate and we got saber ants man i was really looking for this card as a reprint on the list said no one it's this guy oh it's a frost giant that's cool i do like the uh the uh, stat block on the back that's that's flavor win owl bear And Hive of the Eye Tyrant. There's another one that is going to, I think, see some play in decks. Modern and Commander, maybe. What do you guys think? Oops, dropped that one. Delina, another card I like. I need to get a play set of this. The Wild Mage. Cridal again. And Grazalax, Illithid Scholar, is a buck. Beholder. Oops, let me do this one. So far, doing pretty good. We got uh, Zariel. I'm actually running my uh, Dungeons & Dragons crew through uh, Avernus right now. They're in the depths of hell, trying to keep it together. We got a white it is a 50 cents and a scred from the list so this is a card that gets played at least cold snap a buck the list 59 cents that'll even out at some point it's a snow like lightning bolt basically nice just goblin stat block there good art there the Javelinier, this is one that I will keep and potentially make a Goblin's deck for myself. And we got a Treasure Vault. Six bucks for Treasure Vault, so make a bunch of treasure tokens is a good strategy, I think. And Spider. So with Lolf being a mythic and making these 2-1 reach tokens, I wonder if the token does anything better on price. Not really, but I'll hang on to it. Sometimes rare tokens can be worth a little bit more. This might be a little too soon. Divine Smite. Cleric. Let me know if I miss any of these down below. Guardian of Faith. The deck of many things. Another mythic. 342 for that this one uh when i played with this on arena um i ended up emptying my hand <laughs> which was not the desired outcome but um it's not the extended art version it's a couple bucks so we'll keep it so sitting on a good amount of mythics out of this set booster box so far and i've pretty much broken even on the box at least nice uh oops Cave the Den of the Bugbear there. 
Brunor. Barbarian class, I'll hang on to it. We've got Sphere of Annihilation. 49 cents. Not as good as the, the Cube of Annihilation, obviously. That's why it's not that expensive. Some uh, Troubadour action there. We've got a Dryad. Cleric class. This is one that is worth a bit and Trilisara it's another one I'll probably keep and pull for myself not a whole lot we've got Mind Flare it is 50 cents and a spike it's a, the monk half elf monk Cridal again we've got a bunch of Cridals if I wanted to do anything with that I guess Blue Lair of the Hydra, more man lands. I will take it. Couple bucks, only got one. Take that off. And Warden Kindness, Polymorph, and a treasure token. What is this guy? He's a ghoul. He's a medium undead. He's a challenge one with 28 hit points. Yeah, I could totally throw this against my party and they would annihilate it just like they do everything. They're a bunch of murder hobos, I'll tell you. Evolving Wilds. Um, not gonna lie, I do like this. <laughs> it's nostalgia for me. 71 cents though. Monk of the Open Hand. So I don't think this is gonna be worth much, but I mean it does see play in probably like literally one deck. Ranger class, there we go. So Pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's eight bucks. There we go. It'd be that. And an ancient Dan from the list. So this one, um, it's worth a little bit. Um, yeah, the Plant Chase version is three bucks. It's been printed a few times. Um, this version is Mystery Booster, 99 cents. There we go. Okay, right, cool. We still got several packs left to go. It's turning out to be a good box, I would have to say. Feel free to disagree down below. Hey, there we go. Get another um, embossed, foil stamped, whatever you, you want to call it. That's Wayne Reynolds's um, signature. You know, eventually they're going to put real signatures on these things, just like the baseball card industry, sports card industry. Skeletal Swarming, my favorite card from this set. I'm not lying. Love this card. I need to create this deck in paper. There we got a uh, list go, uh, rare voracious dragon from Conflux. Been printed enough that it's probably worth not much, 75 cents. Cut. That's a nymph. Never went a dryad. That's totally what I said. Temple of the Dragon Queen, the module version. That's cool. 86 cents. That's fine. Warlock class, another great class card. I mean, it's it. I I never use this on level three, but level two is dig for more cards in black. There's nothing wrong with that, right? It's a keeper power kill. I don't think this is worth much, but it's halfway useful. I think as long as you're not um, going up against angels, demons, devils, or dragons, that's possible. Ferida again, Circle of Dreams Druid. It's a uh, um, <clears throat> guy's cradle on a stick, right? So that's pretty decent. 660. And the Fandelver. Icing Death um, token. Just going to scan that. Yeah, there we go. So that's this is a token that's generated by a uh, um, mythic. So it can trend a little higher. There's an owl bear. Pixie guide. We got a meteor swarm and a Xanathar. Here come the mythics again. Guild kingpin. I've found that um, when I've run into him, I, I haven't played him, but I played against him. I kill him immediately, and you would too if you saw him come out to play. Power kill. Cool art, creepy. 
Death Priest and Merkel. Let's keep it for me. It's not worth a whole lot. Chandler, we've got a Grim Wanderer. This is, you know, I know that my buddy MTG Unpacked will agree with me. That's not a goblin. That's just a dude, right? Goblins are not that tall. Come on. Ebon Death. There, another mythic. Mythic! The Draco list. Very cool uh, full art. What do they call this? Borderless. 12 bucks. All right. Boros Challenger from the list from a set from two years ago. No thanks. This guy. Critical hit. Cleric class. We'll take that. Trilisara. We'll keep her. Zalto. Fire Giant Duke. And a Monk class. All right. I like the classes. And then we got a full minion. It's not a promo pack. It's a regular. It's 50 cents. Foil Minion of the Mighty. Um, let's see if it'll scan it. It's going to scan it as a regular. I think it was like a buck or something. There it is. The Tarrasque. Kalein. So, Kalein goes in her own deck, basically, but I don't know if she sees a whole lot of play anywhere else. Jin. Delina, let's keep her. I like this card. Uh, again, it's totally a meme deck if you want to build around it. Um, and it's going to, you know, 60% of the time it's going to work every time, maybe. <laughs> it's kind of like that. So, and then a foil warlock class. I don't think it's going to go for much, but I'll keep it. Keeping a lot of cards lately. Been back into trying to build some decks. As a lot of people do, right? Alright. What is this? Forest. Sure, why not? There it is. Clattering skeletons. Very cool skeletons. Super old school. Monk. Wizard class, I think is the one we might scan up. Yep, buck sixty. So I'm talking about even the uncommons are pretty useful here. Adult Gold Dragon, this is a great card. Um it's not gonna oh it's saw it as a different card that's not gonna work I don't think it's really worth anything <laughs> well it's not a gray pelt refuge scanner it's an adult gold dragon you got it right finally fates reversal cool art all right let's get through this here got more boxes to bust here hobgoblin bandit lord Wind speaker. We got Yanti Malison or Malison. How do you say that? It's a dungeon crawling card. I'm not a big fan, but it's okay. Spider token. Demi Lich. Yeah, it's got the stat block for the Demi Lich. That's cool. Challenge 18. That is no joke in D and D. If you guys are not aware. Um, <clears throat> that would wipe out my current party completely. A lot of class. Shestra. got two Shestras in. I guess it's a sign. Should I keep some Shestras for build around it? <laughs> sure, why not? Zorn. Make some extra tokens. 245. Not a bad deal. Venerated Teacher. Put two level counters on each creature control with level up. It's pretty narrow. All right, last pack. And yeah, definitely reprint a card that cares about level counters when there are no level counters currently in standard. Got a uh, Cloister Gargoyle. Swamp. Kick in the door. Prosperous Innkeeper, another classic from this set. I mean, it's just a pushed version of a Soul Sister, basically, right? Buck seventy seven. Dragon turtle. And and another dragon turtle. Just what I wanted. Promo pack now. Regular forty eight cents. And then the showcase is the same and that's it. So that's it for my box. My set booster box. Um pretty good on the mythics here and some great uh, uh uncommon and some few good rares. Um so that's it for today's nonsense appreciate you watching as always make sure to subscribe I'm trying to hit 10,000 tell your friends
拜。